When we talk about aliens, we talk about the search for extraterrestrial life. We kind of mean E.T., don't we? <laughs> we mean something that we can talk to. The James Webb Telescope is uncovering parts of the enormous puzzle that is our universe, upending everything we previously believed. Could a revision to the laws of physics be in order? Brian Cox, a prominent physicist, steps forward to offer his thoughts on these earth-shattering discoveries. Is our universe textbook in need of an update? The majority of us were drinking hot chocolate and unwrapping presents. The biggest gift of all is being given to the astronomy community. The JWST, or James Webb Space Telescope, was launched. It's the biggest optical telescope we've ever launched into space. It has a massive primary mirror inside that is 6.5 meters across. The JWST is currently on a mission to study the very first galaxies to form in our universe, rather than merely hanging out there for the view. It solves problems pertaining to the formation of stars and planets, much like a cosmic detective. How was all that accomplished? The near-infrared camera, also known as NIRCAM, the near-infrared spectrograph, also known as NIRSPEC, the mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI, and the fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager, and slitless spectrograph, also known as FGS Nearest, are the four scientific instruments equipped with it. It sounds complicated, but these are the methods it employs to peer into the atmospheres of far-off exoplanets, and this next part will blow your mind. The JWST is around 930,000 miles away from Earth and orbits the Sun, which puts it far from the planet and makes it frigid there. We're talking about a really frigid minus 223 degrees Celsius. This remarkable endeavor is hardly a solo effort, though. It is the outcome of an extraordinary partnership between NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency. So, the following time you gaze up at the night sky, keep in mind that the JWST is working to reveal the secrets of our universe. Do you know how we constantly wonder if we are alone in the universe? Well, we've been doing more than simply wondering. We've been using telescopes to peer into the celestial depths and unearth truths that are hidden light years away. Our final stop is the exoplanet TRAPPIST-1b, which has caused major hiccups in our comprehension of the cosmos. First off, what is TRAPPIST-1b? It is an exoplanet called Super-Earth, which is astronomical and speaks for something that is somewhat like Earth, but not Superman or anything. Nevertheless, it is bigger than our planet. In spite of having a mass and radius of around 1.37 and 1.12 times those of Earth, respectively, it's still smaller than the ice giants of our solar system, such as Uranus and Neptune. Where is this amazing world right now? It is one of a group of seven rocky planets called the TRAPPIST-1 family that orbit a rather unusual star called TRAPPIST-1. TRAPPIST-1b is about 40 light years from Earth, which is far by our standards, but practically next door in cosmic terms. The tale of how TRAPPIST-1b was discovered is also quite interesting. It was initially discovered in 2016 by a group of astronomers using the Chile-based Transiting Planets and Plantesimals Tiny Telescope. Several other telescopes that are based on the ground or in space have also contributed to making this possible. The proximity of TRAPPIST-1b to its star is an intriguing feature. If it sounds like astronomical jargon, consider that it circles at a distance of only 0.0115 astronomical units, which is about 30 times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun. This causes it to orbit its star extremely quickly, completing one revolution every one and a half day. Due to its speed, the planet is tidally locked, which simply means that one side of it always faces the star and the other side always confronts the chilly void of space. Because of its extremely near orbit, TRAPPIST-1b tans quite a bit. By measuring the planet's thermal emission, or more specifically the heat energy released in the form of infrared light, the telescope was able to filter out most of the starlight and show the planet's signal. For the first time, researchers were able to measure the exoplanet's temperature directly. Additionally, their observations revealed that TRAPPIST-1b does not have a substantial atmosphere. This could be because the star's strong stellar winds and UV radiation caused it to lose its original atmosphere, or because its development process prevented it from ever having one in the first place. In the realm of studying exoplanets, the discovery of TRAPPIST-1b and its six sibling planets was nothing short of a revolution. The most prevalent sorts of stars in our galaxy, very low-mass stars, were shown to be capable of supporting the formation of rocky planets. 
This created fresh opportunities for investigating the wide variety and development of planetary systems, as well as potential indications of extraterrestrial life. That's not the only bizarre discovery, though. Furthermore, some of these discoveries are forcing us to reevaluate what we previously believed. Two galaxies have been causing quite a stir in the world of cosmology. Glass E12 and Glass E10, two truly extraordinary galaxies, are like cosmic celebrities, really. Given that they're among the most distant and luminous galaxies we've ever seen, they were created only 350 and 450 million years after the Big Bang, respectively. You may be asking at this point who or what discovered these galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope, a true marvel, is the solution. In July 2022, it discovered Glass E12 and Glass E10. It's somewhat like using a magnifying glass, except that instead of using glass, you're really using the gravity of giant galaxy clusters to increase or amplify the light from distant galaxies. One of these magnifying glasses, Abel 2744, also known as Pandora's Cluster, is in the background in this instance. Amazingly, this cluster is located 3.5 billion light years away. Now, among a sea of hundreds of other galaxies, the JWST photos of Abel 2744 reveal two tiny red spots that appeared insignificant, yet these red dots were anything but. They demonstrated that these galaxies were incredibly far away and that the universe's expansion had pushed the light into the infrared region of the spectrum. Astronomers calculated something known as photometric redshifts of these galaxies, which is a bit of a technical term, but basically refers to a calculation of how far away something is based on its color. Now, in the context of the cosmos, dust is made up of heavy elements that are created by supernovae and stars. This suggests that Glass C12 is effectively a cosmic infant given its absence. It is immaculate and fairly new. Furthermore, the proportion of O3 to hydrogen emission lines points to the low metallicity of glass E12. In contrast to hydrogen and helium, it has a lesser abundance of heavy elements. And this is compatible with it having originated in the universe's early epochs, when the cosmos was still getting its bearings. Who knows, there could be many more galaxies like glass E12, glass E10, or even more far-off and exotic ones waiting to be found. In addition, the JWST can further research these galaxies in depth using its spectroscopic capabilities to quantify their physical characteristics and evolutionary histories. However, some people don't think it's all doing us a favor. They think it's just making us ask more questions. This will hopefully help us answer some of the fundamental issues about how the first galaxies formed, how they affected their surroundings, and how they led to the diversity of galaxies we see today. Bring up a study from 2022 by Naidu et al. called Two Very Brilliant Galaxy Candidates at Z, roughly equal to 10 to 12, revealed by the JWST. According to this study, it would be challenging to explain phenomena like glass Z12 and glass Z10 using the current cosmological model and might call for the development of new physics or changes to pre-existing theories. Therefore, the extraordinary discoveries made by the JWST have sparked a scientific firestorm and cast doubt on our knowledge of the early cosmos and the Big Bang Theory. These findings encourage us to improve our models and acknowledge the intricacy of cosmic evolution, even though they do not refute the theory of the Big Bang. The ongoing exploration feeds our curiosity and advances our comprehension of our cosmic ancestry. And that's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.